Difference between Webinar Jam and EverWebinar, and when should you use each? Coming up. Hey everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur, and today I'll be covering Webinar Jam versus EverWebinar. But is it really a versus? Because I can tell you now that these tools are actually complementary. They're not a one or the other. They're actually dependent on your situation. And for a lot of people, using both at the same time is probably going to be the most advantageous. Before I get started, what I recommend is if you haven't tried both tools is to click the links in the description to get a 14 day trial for each one. That way you can try both products out and see kind of how they work for your business. So to start with, Webinar Jam is a fully featured live webinar tool. So if you're looking to run webinars live and interact with your audience, then Webinar Jam is a complete end-to-end -end solution to do this. So you can see, you can have up to six presenters and up to 5,000 attendees. It's got really great quality. You can have live chat, you have private chats, you have announcements, questions. You can actually record these sessions automatically, which is really important because I've been in those situations where some tools you have to hit record and you forget. And you can obviously have different scheduling for those webinars. You can actually have an audience member come up on the stage for what's called the attended spotlight. And you can do it through your phone if you'd like. And it's all browser based. There's nothing to install, but those are the high level features. But basically it is a fully featured webinar software. Now, EverWebinar is a tool to make the webinars you've already run scalable. So one of the biggest challenges with webinars is that while they're such a powerful tool for marketing is that you kind of become a slave to your desk if you're using this as part of your sales process, right? Like for example, let's say you can only run two webinars a day because you have a limited amount of time. And what if all your attendees can't attend and then you're just stuck there running webinars? And what about people can't attend at the specific times you're running it? So you're leaving money on the table, really. And so the solution to that is EverWebinar. And what EverWebinar does is it takes that webinar that you've already done Let's say you've done this great webinar in either Webinar Jam or really any other product, or if you already just did this perfectly crafted video that looks like a webinar, and it takes that video and it makes it seem like it's a live webinar that's happening right now. So you can see the person would attend, they'd see all of these other participants that you set up. You can set up actually a chat where you can have different people chatting, it's just a script. Or if you actually ran it through Webinar Jam, you can just import it. But again, not necessary to have Webinar Jam to run ever webinar. You can schedule it for specific dates. So you can have this say every Monday or every Wednesday it runs. And what's really, really powerful is you can have it so that the webinar always seems to start right on time. I'll show you what I mean here. So if we go into EverWebinar, here's a test example I've created, and this person is trying to register for your webinar, they'll see that, oh look, the webinar starts in 13 minutes, let me hop on right now. And this is probably the most powerful way to do it because they can register for the specific times or you can set up pre-recorded times, right? So Basically what I'm saying here is you can set the dates. Let's say this runs every Monday and Tuesday at these specific times, but you can also have it so that it's a catch all that every 15 minutes this runs. So no matter what time someone shows up, they'll always be able to see this pre-recorded webinar. And so that is really, really powerful. And you can even set blackout times so that it doesn't run at like 2 AM, which doesn't seem realistic. So, I actually have tutorials for both of these tools, complete tutorials on how to run them and how to create webinars in each. So I'm going through this at a really high level. So I recommend that you check out those videos down below if you wanna learn more about the tools and see how they set up and the experience of running them and everything. So check those out down below. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanna explain why they're different. So again, to recap, Webinar Jam, lets you run the actual webinars live and really interact with your audience live. You can send them videos, you can send them files, you can chat with them live, you can have multiple presenters, you can have moderators, just your typical live webinar experience. And EverWebinar can take those webinars you've done live and then automate them to make it seem like those same live webinars are being run. 
so that you don't have to be at your desk running these all the time. So you can see how powerful that is to have that part of your funnel, right? There's a webinar always happening every 15 minutes for your audience that you don't have to run. So both are really amazing for different use cases. So sometimes people might ask me, well, why would you ever use Webinar Jam if ever Webinar can just automate it for me and I never need to be there, then why would I use Webinar Jam? Well, I would say it really depends on a lot of different things. If you're selling really high ticket items, there is something special about being there live, being able to interact with the audience, engage with the audience. You simply can't automate that, right? You have that ability to be flexible and react to the audience. Depending on what you're selling, what you're doing, there is power in being live and actually being able to adjust things on the fly and react to the audience and what's happening with the chats and the questions. Now, with EverWebinar, you are automating everything, but if someone has a really salient question or something, you necessarily may not be there to answer it. Now, EverWebinar actually has a moderator mode, so you can always log in and just be a moderator and answer questions, even though you're not the one presenting, or you are presenting, but it's the automated version of you. <laughs> So at a high level, I would say it's not a webinar jam versus ever webinar. What I would say is you use both tools. Maybe you have your top of the funnel webinar. You know, you got your e-guide in your funnel and that goes to your top of the funnel webinar, 10 ways to do X or whatever it is you're teaching. And then maybe you do your live webinars for the more qualified audiences, or maybe it's a paid live webinar because you can do paid automated webinars. But I think if you have a more intimate group or you want a more engaging session, you might want to do a live webinar. So really there is no hard and fast rule for when to use which, but what I can tell you is there are tremendous benefits to using both in different ways and it really depends on your audience, the type of products you're selling and so many other factors. Hopefully I've cleared up for you when to use which and how these tools are different and actually complementary rather than competing solutions. Again, if you haven't tried these tools before, click on the links in the descriptions to get a 14 day trial for each so you can figure out if you need one, both or neither and what's really good for your business. I also have a lot of other Webinar Jam and Ever Webinar videos if you wanna check those out on the channel to help you make a decision whether it's the right tool for you. You can also subscribe to the channel to get more content like this. If you found this video helpful, give me a like, it really helps the video out and motivates me to make more content like this for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.